Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hades where today we're taking those same conditions that we had yesterday and we're just going to do a slightly better job with them, that's all. Uh, I had a little bit of, uh, of planning time with the old Codex and I think what we're going to try to do here is force Dionysus and Poseidon together at the beginning of the run. If we could pull their duo boon early, that, um, that epic rarity assurance boon, uh, that would obviously be really, really good, and also we gotta check it off the list. Like, at some, po at some point we have to actually take it. Uh, this is one of those runs where if they offer it to us in the final room, we will curse their names and then just go ahead and click the button. Uh, and I don't think there's a lot else to, uh, to talk about here. We take our, our cool new shield and go do the thing. And again, I'm pretty sure for progression and plot purposes, it does not matter if we win our runs anymore. I think we just need to... For plot purposes, we need to be cozying up to the Olympians, and for progression purposes, we just need to be checking stuff off the lists. So in a sense, that does relieve the pressure a little. Just getting warmed up down there, yeah, Zag? Here, yeah, have a fine selection of my blessings just for you. Okay, Trippy Flare is not what this is usually called, but, I mean, it is the thing we want most. It's a shame that it's common, because obviously the, the damage scaling on this uh, rarity base is pretty huge. So, let's talk about this. One thing that I do think is a little bit awkward is that the other duo boons that we have yet to get for him have to do with... Well, I guess Calculated Risk doesn't. I was going to say, like, we, we don't really have a good way of delivering Hangover. We don't have anything that hits frequently. Um, I guess Hangover effects on Special might be okay. We just, like, bounce it around and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think we have a good, a really a good way of applying hangover stacks quickly, but we'll figure it out. But we definitely want Trippy Flare. I think this is going to be pretty good for us. So just load all the things up and then... Kabam! And I'm happy to leave us in the multiple Bloodstones uh, version of the thing for this run. I think it is going to do some fine work for us. Gosh, though, the slowness. I mean, we hit hard. There's no two ways about that. All right, so we have Chaos Gate versus some money. Yeah, that's not a very difficult choice at all, in fact. I can take it. I'm realizing I don't actually know uh, when Beowulf was written, like at all. I have no idea how it compares to the time of ancient Greece. History, not my strong suit. Alright, Boon Rarity up is not so exciting. Uh, honestly, Maimed Strike... Maimed Strike is going to make our lives really difficult for four rooms and then be only pretty good? I guess Addled Grasp is also interesting. More Bloodstones is more exploding. You know what? I'm going to take this. I see no reason not to make it so. And we're going to try to save our rerolls for opportunities to actually get a Duo Boon here. So do not cast. That's fine. I'm sure we can... I'm sure punching will suffice for a few rooms here at the beginning of the game. Okay, it does still bounce. I was trying to verify. I mean, I assumed, but... Yeah, geez, the, um, the amount of time that you have to commit to the animation for in order to get the bounce is really harsh in, in order to do the special throw. I do love being handed a bunch of hearts right off the bat, although obviously some boons also would be, would be nice. I'd love it if we could just naturally get Poseidon. Oh man, yeah, even even the normal attack has you planting your feet for such an incredibly long time. 
We may just not even want to pursue that Ares thing, because I don't think it's a good idea to do Hangover with this weapon. We'll never be able to get five stacks of Hangover on anything. Easy. It takes us a solid ten seconds to attack five times. <laughs> okay, well, that's not what I wanted. And we do have to finish destroying the pile. The only thing that really allows us to have any speed or mobility at all is Dash Strike. Obviously, it's less of a problem against enemies who are not armored. Ah. Yeah, I feel, like, sluggish. Positively sluggish with this weapon. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, especially given the particular uh, manner of our failings yesterday. This is not the place I want to be in. Once we can cast again, things are going to be so much easier. Oh god! <laughs> what a horrible group of enemies to, uh, to have to fight when you are feeling very sluggish. Uh, Athena versus... I mean, we, we want Athena pretty badly, and we definitely don't want to shop. Uh, Chimera Jerky's probably pretty bad. I think we're just gonna... we're just gonna go ahead. Please no Doomstone. Why did I... why did I... why did I say anything? Why did I say a thing? Why would I use words to express thoughts that the game could hear and then subvert? Boy, and the, the damage dealt by the bouncing throws is, unfortunately, not hitting the enemies more than once, which means that we can't even kill stuff because of the fact that they're all armored. I... okay, it's just it was just shooting a, a beam that was turning with me, I'm pretty sure. Just keep bouncing him off the wall and <laughs> hope that this gets the job done. Okay, ooh. Finally we can cast again. This is rough. When you when you cannot cast, this weapon is quite bad. The circumstances spur me now to offer you the greatest of my powers, cousin. Take my strength and strike the darkness down. I assume that her prereqs, the prereqs for her duo boon, are just um, any of the any of the five basics. I feel like we don't take Athena that much. We might have a lot of duos left with her. Oh yeah, at some point we're going to have to actually take Stubborn Roots. So yeah, this is just any of the five basics, and it... Unfortunately, Dionysus' cast does not serve as a prereq for this, so we, have to, we do have to take another thing from him. Um, I mean, his aid wouldn't be bad. Okay, so are we going to take... I'm probably just going to take the attack one, right? I think so. Having the special deflect I don't think is particularly good, because every time you throw it out there it has a chance of like bouncing around and not coming back, and then you're just in the open. It's not a thing you want to do while being shot at, ideally. So quiet. Yo, I am overjoyed. Overjoyed to see a fountain at this moment. Um Demeter is not someone that we are really looking for. That said, her duo boon with Dionysus is really good. Like, I think just continuing to palm this is actually really powerful. But let's... let's go get ourselves another god. There we go. That's... that's that stuff we're looking for. And then the Festive Fog is going to be hugely helpful uh, in keeping us alive. Boy, it really is a tremendously slow and, Im like, a, a very immobile sort of gimmick, though, huh? Loaded. Okay, and if you dash through an enemy, so we don't... We want to be careful about how much we charge the bull rush before we let it go. You are definitely one of our recipients. Your power and your wisdom have been of such help, good Lady Demeter. I'm honored, and this is the least I can do in exchange. <laughs> I was quite certain that the youth today was lacking any sort of tactfulness, young Zagreus. For once, I'm thankful to be proven wrong. 
You stumbled into Dionysus, Sagrius. One of these days I shall prevent his vineyards all from ripening. Put to the test his carefree attitude. Well, I guess it's good that she hasn't already done that. Um, Mistral Dash is not bad. Ravenous Will will be okay for us. I think I, think I may take Ravenous Will. And Hammer. Hammer, ooh. I think we're going to take the Hammer, but this is like a, this is a rough situation for it. I'd like to go talk to Sisyphus. I think we need the help, though. Yeah. There are a whole bunch of hammer upgrades that apply to the bull rush. It's really nice to have any of those. Let's just go ahead and load all these up. I think you got me, do you? So it is kind of interesting. Um, boy, I don't know if it's a good idea to do an Erebus gate. <laughs> I guess we'll see what the reward is before we worry about it. Yeah, it is kind of interesting because I feel like with the other shields, you really want to um, dash all the way through enemies as much as possible. Maybe the safest thing to do is bull rush to the backside of an enemy, and then from the backside start start loading up the next bull rush. You know, Just a bit longer. If your goal is primarily survival. So this does this does create a different playstyle. I think this is a really interesting aspect. So far, that's been the case with all of the hidden ones, right? Um, hmm. I don't know if this is going to... I assume this, is, this would make the cast pop out where we are standing. So probably it's actually not very good for us. Uh, Ferocious Guard is interesting because we're charging up our bull rush anyway. But I think I might take Dashing Wall up here just because we need... Our mobility attack needs a little bit of help, I think. Also, with uh, Deflect on Attack, our Dash Strike hitting in the larger area does keep us safer as well. Yeah, I'm going to take that. My shield grows stronger. Ooh. Boy, 50 max HP versus a Trial is certainly interesting. I think we probably want to take the Trial. Especially because I don't know that I feel particularly... Um, like, like, our setup with this weapon is very good at keeping us safe. But it's hard to pass up 50 max HP. I think I think we gotta do the trial. I think we need lots of boons. I think we gotta get pre-rex loaded up and stuff. Ooh, wow. Okay, well, we're taking Demeter here because in a room this size, Demeter's wrath is just gonna kill us for sure. I'm grateful, Zagreus. Uh, let's go... Nourished Soul is interesting. I don't think Mistral Dash is, like, very good or exciting for us at all. Are we looking for a duo from you at all? Okay, you need Arctic Blast or Killing Freeze to have our Legendary on. Remember, the um, the mirror thing we have that increases our chance of seeing duos also increases our chance of seeing Legendaries. This might be a good time to be working on these. Uh, we have access to this. We just need like basically any of her stuff. Okay, so none of this other stuff is even going to be available to us. So it kind of doesn't matter what we take for purposes of prereqs. Well, except that Mistral Dash is a prereq for the Athena thing and Nourished Soul isn't. But I really like Nourished Soul. We're, we're going to take it. Did I do something to deserve this, man? Because I thought that we were getting on just fine. Better than fine, but this... Oh, sorry, Dionysus, mate. Yeah, I mean, I certainly don't want to have to deal with his wrath. Like, it's not a, it's not a great one. But at the same time, we do not have a lot of options. It's a good room to have um, to have deflect on attack. It is a bad room to have to deal with area denial effects from gods. But unfortunately, both of the both of the trial gods were area denial things. So what are we gonna do? Ow. Yep. Yep, and in my haste to to 
dash away from stuff, I dashed into other stuff. <laughs> okay, thanks for a good laugh there, Zag. What was it I was going on about before? That's less menacing than a lot of the others, at least. Uh, do we want the call? I think we do. I think I like his call. Uh, oh boy. I guess we'll go this way. Neither one of those. Neither one of those are very compelling at this moment. That was pretty good, though, huh? Yeah, it's an interesting aspect. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of cool how different it feels, how how different and interesting and new it feels, while basically just being shield plus aspect of Hera. But like the the different concerns of the shield make that feel like a really different thing. Do we want Zeus? Is Zeus one of the ones that we're doing today? I'm, I'm so forgetful. Uh, I think no, right? We don't we don't need Zeus. So I might go to the shop in the hopes of finding a boon that is more appropriate to our thing, and then also maybe like being able to buy a heart. Not that I don't love you, Zeus. Okay, Dionysus is definitely more relevant. We'll take the palm before we take the boon, because I really I want the maximum possible chance of it applying to a trippy shot. Oh, it's just a hellfish. Just what I need. Okay, yep. <laughs> that seems pretty alright. I bet the Charon has to be the life of every feast you have down there with such a personality. Am I not right about that, man? He's standing right there. He can hear you. Uh, you know what? Okay, actually, Drunken Dash is interesting. That is a good way of applying Hangover. I hadn't really thought about that. I'll take it. So we're going to force Poseidon in the next biome, and then hopefully pull that duo boon as soon as possible afterward. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. Alright, I think I would rather... Um, I would rather do it this way than have Meg assisting her. Ow. Although, of course, the instant I say that, I make it- I make myself look very silly. Oh man, our attack is so slow. Okay, I can't just spam attack through that. I have to actually, like, be careful with it. Okay. Not the way I wanted that to go, but she rushed us right as I did the thing. Uh... I hate this. This is not working at all. Why can't I... Uh... Zag decided the best thing we could possibly do was just rush directly into that corner. Yo, look at the damage output, though. She's trying. She's trying so hard. I'm playing not that well, but I do think I'm playing better than yesterday. That's mine. Or, I mean, listen, for me it's earlier today. I mean last episode. I don't know when this might have, there might have been a weekend break between them. Uh, I do think I'm playing better, but still sloppy. Alright, let's get Poseidon in here, Moving and let's see hopefully, go with that one. hopefully get this duo boon nice and early. We have two reroll points, although that doesn't mean two rerolls on the same boon choice because it has an escalating cost. But we'll we'll, we'll get to probably do two meaningful boon rerolls here in this biome. Oh, and Hermes isn't even going to jump in the middle. I do think it's a little bit of a bummer that um, 
If you have deflect on attack, it doesn't make the shield in blocking stance deflect. I guess I guess it must have. I'm sure they tried it. It must have turned out to be problematic. And I can certainly see how that would be the case. Um, but it only it deflects while you're doing a normal attack or while you're um, Ready. while you're actually charging forward. Oh, Poseidon. I dare say, little Hades, you have some spunk in you. Why Whoa. You take after me more than my crusty older brother. We'll get away from that old copter yet. You can't just run up to somebody and start talking about their spunk. That's not... That's, that's not good manners. Uh, I think we're probably going to take Tempest Flourish here because I bet... I bet that this is the prereq we need for... the thing, right? Yeah, we need one of the basics. Okay. And that's a pretty good version of it. I think our build's really powerful. It's it's a little tricky to play with. This definitely requires... Oh, man. I mean, I want... Because there's a chance we could get the duo right now. But also... But also Eurydice. <sighs> All right. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but... She's going to be really good for us, I'm pretty sure. Also, you know, we still have to do this. Thanks, Your Majesty. Though, you're not going to get in trouble bringing me this stuff, are you? <laughs> no. I don't think I can get into more trouble at the moment. May this make your dishes that much more delectable. Also, I think the rules are I'm just not supposed to have it in the house, right? So I, giving it to people out here is actually a good from the purpose or from the position of the house rules. I'd say make yourself at home, man, but you look like you got cooler places to be. All right, I think we're taking the delight again cuz we have a lot of really good boons. If we got a rarity upgrade on Trippy Flare here, it would be like amazing. Sure thing. Okay, I feel great about both of those, honestly. How much did that? 165%. Okay. Shield throw is actually worthwhile. I like it. And now we are... I think that's probably the only thing I would have taken over a, uh, over a Poseidon or... Oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I need to... Here we go, perfect. Need to get a position where I don't have to charge up very long to execute the, uh, the appropriate length of charge. Wow, we got, I think, really lucky with the food drops there. Yeah, jeez. My attack is so slow that I can't... I can't even use the shield to block ranged attacks that are incoming because it takes him so long to go into the stance. You have to... You have to already be blocking by the time they fire at you. That's tough. It's really tough. Uh, okay. We're taking this over the Erebus Gate for sure. We may end up just not going to Erebus at all this run, it looks like. Yeah, a chance at one of our duos over a high rarity Hermes boon I think is right. I mean, obviously, nothing wrong with a Hermes boon, but we are on the hunt here. Okay. I mean, I was, I was mid-dash. I must have been, right? There's no way for me to have... We don't need to call it a compare. There's no way for me not to have been mid-dash when that projectile hit me. And yet. Right, we're gonna get a pretty good hit here. It's a powerful build. There's no two ways about that. Olympus, I accept this message. Alright, uh, show me duo. What about these? Okay, this is a pretty good time for it. So now we will only see epic and heroic boons. Course is set. And of course duos and legendaries. I love you, Festive Fog. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's a it's a little bit of a tricky build. Hello, mates. 
Uh, that guy should not have jumped toward us at that moment. <laughs> I really like, I really like this explosive charge build. This is a lot of fun. I'll take it. Uh, Hermes versus Palm. This is Hermes. There are definitely a number of boons he could give us that would be really, really nice. Especially since they're guaranteed to be at least epic. Where is everybody? Aha! Oh, I was hoping that having my shield up between me and the bomb would have an effect on the damage the bomb deals. But I guess it doesn't work that way. Oh. With my second hit, I knocked him out of the lava. He's never going to come over here, is he? Okay, I can... I can swat it back at him. Is he the... I think he's the only enemy up right now. So we need to get him, like, just after he leaps. There we go. I hate this. Okay, we gotta, we gotta deal with these Gorgons first. Well, I managed to get her petrified. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, where are my other two Bloodstones? I feel like I've been juggling the same two Bloodstones for a really long time. Oh, they're all the way... How'd they get all, all the way over here? Yeah, I can't believe I forgot about uh, Hangover on Dash. It's a really effective way to distribute it, regardless of your level. Time for a boost. I can't believe you got into a fight with my professional associates. You laughed or something, cuz. Just about everybody that I know, they're all at least a little bit afraid of that one in his boat. Yet you think you can take him, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, well, I feel like this is probably going to be really helpful. Time to go. Get into the charge-up state faster and everything, and then we do have enough money to go shopping, I guess. But I think we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and say what's up to Athena. Might be able to get ourselves another duo boon that I actually think is really good from her. Much better. Um, hmm. You know what? I will buy. I will buy a spin. We will definitely use the companion during the Hydra fight, and we may we may use it elsewhere as well. Alright. Show me Duo Boom. Some members of our family do not yet fully understand just how precarious your situation okay. is, cousin. My Lord Dionysus here. He goes about as though this is a festive matter of some sort. Athena, girl, you really mean to tell me that discovering a long-lost relative isn't a cause for celebrating right away? I mean, you can't be telling me a thing like that. Because if Zag isn't a cause for feasting, I don't know what is. Okay, we are doing an excellent job Duo power. On, our, uh, on our prophecy this time. Okay, this is going to be a little ugly. You got to remember, it is, it is well worth... Throwing the sh throwing the shield when there's a lot of hydra heads up. Uh, that's the lava one. That's annoying. Just whatever time it is, learning. You know, it had it had to be one where deflect wasn't going to be any good, right? Ow. I want to save the. Um, oh god, can't stand there and charge. I want to save the summon for the second multi-head phase, obviously. Yeah, okay, this is a little awkward because the um, the normal attack of the shield does carry us forward a little bit, so in situations like this where it matters a huge amount where we stand, this is just kind of a bad weapon to be equipped with. Okay. Good news is we can just 
dash around a lot, a fire dash strike, and also get lots and lots of um, lots and lots of hangover. All right, as soon as all of the heads are spawned, we're gonna go ahead and hit the thing. Pretty good start. Did she have a specific line for fighting the Gorgon there? Did she say she wasn't afraid of snakes, or was she asking if the enemy was afraid of snakes? Sorry. Friendly fire. You know how it is. It's difficult to control. I think Dusa did a lot of damage there. Until you reconstitute again. First. She seems like an excellent helper. Here, fishies. We just got an achievement, I guess, for beating up the Hydra a lot. It's weird that it would be called Skelly Slayer if it's an, an achievement that's related to the Hydra when there's a character in the game whose name is Skelly. <laughs> you would think that they would be reluctant to use his name in the thing. I don't know. That's weird. All right, so I don't actually know what we're doing Should now in terms of uh, in terms of keepsakes. I mean, we got the two duos that we were really hunting for, so I guess let's see if there's anything else that we're... We could try to pull Ares and just do this thing. Curse of Agony, Curse of Pain, and Curse of Vengeance. Um, is Curse of Vengeance the Revenge Doom? It is. So we could get that with no prereqs and it wouldn't have to replace one of our other things. I think Curse of Pain is probably actually pretty good on this shield throw, but obviously loathe to, uh, loathe to replace that thing. I think let's go for it. Let's see if we can get lucky. Maybe we'll cross three things off the That's list. I don't remember exactly how many there are. I think it's in the neighborhood of of eight-ish. So we've gotten a pretty good chunk of them here. Elysium. <laughs> Zag isn't any happier to see it than I am. Uh, yeah, we gotta go this way, right? Our max HP is still a little bit low for this point in the run. I probably shouldn't have loaded up all four charges there. Yeah, I should, I should only load up a couple at a time, because that amount of damage is going to be wasted on most normal enemies. Oh, my dash forward ended right before he fired. I was trying to, I was trying to get the deflect timing. Having a hell of a time actually hitting that guy. There we go. Hey, you. Go over there. Over there. Hey, that was pretty good, right? I'm annoyed that he hit me while I was dashing through him, but what are you going to do? I think this is actually probably worth doing. We have an intruder. Yeah, man, festive fog. What a, what a powerful thing. How many times? Peace and quiet. I do think it's it's really important to recognize your failings, to recognize when you're doing a bad job, to not try to play it off um, as much as you can. Uh, you know, when you can recognize it. Uh, but if you're doing that, it's also really important to recognize your successes so that you, <laughs> you don't get too down on yourself. So I just want to take a moment to recognize that that was the fastest and cleanest I probably could have done that, and I'm really happy with it. All right, let's get Ares in here. Let's try to get cursed. Oof. 
That was not the cleanest. I was trying to push him back into that arrow. I am over dashing a lot of enemies. I'm dashing through them and failing to land the dash strike. Also, uh, you cannot add a cast to your bull rush while you are already in the blocking state. You have to have, have to have thought of it ahead of time, which is a real shame. On account of, you know, my limited ability to think of things ahead of time. That's bad. Bad time to get stuck. Oof. Well, that room was not as clean as it could have been. Okay, Ares is not one of the ones we were working on. It is a veritable crime your father distances himself from all the rest of us. It is fortunate that you yourself are not so disagreeable. Hmm. Yeah, wow, these are pretty okay. The will to fight. All right, let's hope that we can see a third duo. And do we want to go see our man? Like, we don't really need his stuff. We're in chamber 28, so it is probably the case that if we took the attack, uh, the the jerky from Patroclus, we would have it available during the boss fight, which would not be insignificant. We do a lot of a, a lot of damage from attack. But also, shopping could get us duo boon. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna per perhaps give up a little bit of plot. The fact that we can't actively move his thing forward does inform my decision making here a little bit. Cheers, mate. I think we are still on this. And then we don't have a duo available for you, right? I'm just making sure that we don't want to spend our reroll on her. Let's see. We certainly don't have a new one available. I still need to take one of her basics. That's right. Shoot. Uh, I guess I could... I could overwrite call with her call? I think I'm gonna, um... Boy. Triple rare crop is... Definitely interesting. We're gonna take this. I'm not gonna stress too much about that that other duo. I think this is actually really powerful. Cool, cool. I'm so happy it hit trippy shot. That's that's wonderful. That's exactly what we wanted. Always a pleasure, Caron. Okay. Um, I'm on. I think we're. I think we're on palm here. Gonna be doing a lot of a lot of dashing around here. Just running away, basically. Just let them all. Let them all. I don't know how you get a sentient chariot drunk, but we are gonna get all these sentient chariots drunk, and then we're just gonna, you know, there's a reason that people tell you not to drink and drive. We're just gonna let them demonstrate that. Not the way I should have done that. That was really dangerous. Alright, we're mostly... We're pretty low on chariots. At this point, we have beaten most of the chariots. So apparently, crashing into that chariot stopped my dash, even though I think we had had it charged to move further than that, didn't we? Oh my god, a build that actually kills chariots quickly. Wonderful. What a beautiful thing. Delicious. Um, hmm. So our aid got picked for the, um... Got picked for the rare crop thing, so I think we're probably... Oh, so did our attack. So these will both scale really, really well. Uh, I think we're gonna... I'm super torn. I think we're gonna put it here. Powered up. 
Okay, so 200 gold versus more boons. I think we gotta take the boons here. So we're probably, I mean, we're looking for either one of these guys as our entry to the duo boon. So I guess the question is, which one has the more interesting thing if we don't get the duo? Do I have a reroll left? I do. It's probably him. Oh, you know what? His legendary would be phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Dionysus' side. My next opponent has arrived in short order. Is that another crack about my height? Short order? That was another joke about my height, wasn't it? <laughs> Great mind, Zagreus. I do not jab. All of my strength goes into every strike. Observe. Alright, my dude here has some strong Drax energy. I mean, we don't really... We can pretty much just run away from him until our cast is back, and then just only fight him with with trippy flares. Because every time we do that, it does well over 2,000 damage. The fact that the 2,000 is in purple means that that's just the damage that the flare was dealing, in addition to the actual bull rush itself. Ow. Yep, I ran into that. That's not good. Let me just, like, stay back and throw the shield at him in the interim. Oh, cowardice. Asterius, I'm embarrassed for you. Okay, the, I don't much like it when the, uh, when the wave from that just goes right through a piece of terrain. That shouldn't happen. Even, even more drunkenness. So I think that's sort of like the style we should be going for. We should be not trying to do a lot of damage up front. We're just playing back and getting getting in for a small number of very, very large hits. Olympus, I accept this message. I mean, right? We gotta. We gotta. It's faded, and it's actually really, really good. And then on top of that, we get to go get a heart. I love it. We need some HP, though. Kaboom! Hey, that works out pretty well. Yeah, we are actually in a state where it is uh, it is absolutely terrifying and pretty much non-viable non for enemies to attempt to melee us. Yo, just place the end of the charge directly between them. And then, like, even as we're running away, we can just use the Festive Fog as cover. God. It's a good, strong strategy, you know, when you can do it. And we also still have, um... Still have Reflect on Attack, which helps a lot with this stuff. I think we have a lot of really good tools here. Played well, this build is awesome. So I just, you know, gotta play it well, is all. Vitality. Alright, where's my trippy flare damage at now? Now that it's rare plus, yep, okay. <laughs> it's getting pretty good. Uh, oh, we gotta, like, as much as I want more HP, we gotta take heart here, right? If we can get a bonus that actually affects our uh, bull rush, it's gonna be huge. guess incorrectly I was trying to go toward more chariots because you know killing a chariot is always going to be top priority for me
Oh boy, and then sometimes it's difficult enough that you don't have to choose. There are chariots and non-chariot enemies everywhere, in all directions. Okay, he's dead. He'll, he'll die of natural drunkenness related causes. I don't like the fact that those, um, those shots came out of them backwards. I dashed through them, under the assumption that that would give me some measure of safety, and it extremely did not. Uh, pulverizing blow is probably not, it's probably sudden rush, right? It's gotta be. I don't dislike this or anything, but I think it's gotta be this. I guess, hold on, it says your attack hits twice. Well, you know what, never mind. I was gonna say, that probably means that our bull rush also does hit twice, but also I don't care about that. The damage from our bull rush isn't from the rush itself. He just grows stronger. We want to more quickly, more efficiently deliver a, uh, a great big cast. So I think in the situation we're in right now, we probably take money over palm because we're looking to be able to buy health soon. We want to, at the pre-boss shop, okay. go health plus, um, health plus food, right? or not health plus food, health plus boot, right? The fact that that guy was um, in the fog actually was really working against us there because it meant he was constantly getting stunned out of his attack animation. Oh, this is a absolute goddamn nightmare. For real, that would have been a horrible, horrible situation with pretty much any other weapon. Also, very annoyed that I just got hit by all that while attacking. I thought, thought my attack had reflect on it. What does deflect even mean these days? Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Okay. Everything's fine. Well, we're just gonna run away for a while until the chariot nonsense stops, and then we'll fight the actual enemies. Just as soon as it is safe to do so. Hard to argue with that damage output. Good enough. I could really use some health, though. Somebody wants to sell me some HP. Well, I think we'd better shop. HP plus boon would be really, really good right now. Are we just about to fight a boss? Yes. Okay, that's what I figured. Here's the fee. So. Bonus backstab damage when we bull rush through an opponent. I don't know if we get backstab damage on the explosion. Like, it's definitely directional. Because if you cause an explosion behind a shielded enemy, it does hurt them. I don't know if it benefits from backstab or not, but if it does, blinding flash is amazing. So I think that's what we're going to take here. And then we have enough money for both of these, which is great. Okay, I'm feeling pretty ready. Sworn enemy. I hope you're perfectly pleased with yourself, Hellspawn, because Asterius has been quite cross with me, such as he is. He says I have misjudged the likes of you. Outrageousness. You don't hear me, King. We still have a lot to learn about this foe. Each time is differently equipped. Weapons, god given abilities, and such. Despite our efforts, it's been difficult to read his strategies. And now you're saying I can't fight Asterius? Even though I had no difficulty besting you within that maze of yours. But come on, let's do this fight. A little bit of trouble in paradise here. Yeah, I don't think it's benefiting from backstab damage. Stay out of the way while he's doing that. Aw. Need you do so. Stay out of this! <laughs> it's really fancy out here, huh? Oh, that was a bad. That was a bad dash. Yeah, I pretty much put myself in a position where I was almost guaranteed to get hit there.
And she's really, she's laying it on him, man. That's, that's working. How did I take so much damage so quickly? It's just, it's incredible. She wanna... Okay. You can only do it once per encounter. I, I think, I think the, um, explanatory text in the, uh, in the keepsake thing, in the big glass case, said as much? I, I believe. But I was not 100% sure. I figured it was worth testing. This is the plan. We're gonna, we're taking it slow. We're not spammy. We're, we're going in for individual big hits. Yeah, the more, the more I do the other thing, the more I'm gonna suffer. Here's the thing about Beowulf. You know, he was a very, he was a very slow-moving, considered fighter. I don't know if that's true. I, I read Beowulf in like high school. I don't, don't remember a lot about it. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. But pretty much all I remember is Grendel, and that's from a different part of the thing than the whole dragon part of the story, anyway. So. Okay, this isn't really how your attack pattern works. He just decided to take a little detour. Nah, I hit him with a couple of those. They fire off in sequence, not all at once, which is actually really helpful most of the time. You are super dead, my friend. Who's champion now? I was not about to let you down, my shade. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Like once I once I stopped trying to fight him like normal and I I like slowed down and was like, we're only gonna hit him when it's a home run. You it felt it felt pretty good. Okay, so at this point, we're just switching to a combat-focused uh, keepsake, right? I don't know that there, there's anything else that makes sense to do here. So what is the most sensible combat-focused keepsake? We still have all of our um, all of our resurrections, so this is going to end up being more health than this, right? Because so we get two and a half times... I mean, it's pretty close. These two things are not especially different right now, except... But this needs to be leveled up, and once it's leveled up, it will be better, so we should take it so that we're leveling it up. And I got no money. I don't why did I even look? I got no money. Alright, what are what are my values looking like? 349, 108%, 20 damage per tick. Pretty good. It's pretty good. And we could still pull that, um. Oh, no, wait, we did. We did pull the Ares Duo Boon. Yeah, um, we're killing it here in terms of uh, in terms of progression. We're absolutely crushing it. And we're going to complete a, uh, a prophecy if we just get the shield to the Hades fight, which I believe is going to give us two Ambrosia, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I'm not, you know, everything's coming up Zagreus here. I uh, want to do the heart first, and then we'll do the boss branches, I guess. Yeah, we're not desperate for money, so check this way. we don't have to worry about the money thing too much. I guess, actually, I should be... Should be doing that, because the festive fog, I was thinking, is going to be hard in a room full of tiny vermin to uh, actually get our bull rush executed. But also, the Festive Fog is, like, incredibly good against them, so probably worth the effort. Wow! <laughs> Jeez.
Okay, two cast loads is starting to not do the job anymore. We probably need to put three or even all of our stuff into the shield before charging. Big enemies in here got a lot of health. You guys just stay the hell over there. No, go away. You are not allowed to shoot poison in my safety core. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him anymore. Alright, so we still have the possibility of pulling the Dionysus Legendary. Um, and obviously it would be very powerful during the final boss fight. Oh no, I managed to not hit him at all. That's... that's embarrassing. Also, Jesus Christ! Yeah, if they hit you, their, uh, their lasers tick for damage like every, I don't know, tenth of a second or something, it looks like. It's really, really fast. Ah, oh, they're not near, they're not near a trap, that's not gonna do anything. I should not have thrown my shield. Jesus Christ, these, uh, the armored mega laser snakes are really a problem. That's life. Yeah, again, the, the difference in difficulty between the mini-boss branches and the non-mini-boss branches is so large. Or, or, difficulty is maybe not the right word, but the difference in the amount of health you expect to lose is really, really large. Uh, was it the fishing point over here? was indeed. Well, we may as well go ahead and buy this heart now, right? We don't know exactly how much more money we're going to make. And I That's guess I want the Poseidon boon, too. Sure. I'm going to take the heart. Cheers, mate. Yeah, we have... <laughs> we, have we have 149 gold left. Something tells me we'll make it. So let's grab you. Oh, the, you can't, you actually can't, um, you can't bull rush across even a very small gap. Okay, I'm, it's damn vermin and their zero frame attack. I'm very bummed out by the number of times I got bit there. It's really hard to start the, um, start the wind up for the dash with little vermin on you. Our shield throw would ordinarily be a really powerful tool here, but again, the shield, the shield throw for this uh, aspect of the weapon also has considerable wind-up time. Really, the only thing we can do is, is dash strike erratically. Little vermin are perhaps more dangerous than any other enemy <laughs> for the aspect of Beowulf. told you you could live. Alright, if this were the final branch, I'd be fine with it. This blasted place again. I got lied to. The bull rush just like totally misrepresented to me where it was gonna end up. Oh. Okay, so we gotta we gotta hide on the far side of the room for a second here. Cause I need my bloodstones back to really be able to fight. And unfortunately the bloodstones are covered in garbage right now. Oof. Okay. Tricky. Good news is the knockback on this weapon is quite powerful. The bad news is it seems to miss the boss a lot for Reasons that are a little bit mysterious to me. <laughs> Just 
keep doing this for the moment to destroy the pots while we wait for my uh, my bloodstones to come back out of the thing. There we go. In the name of Hades. Are we looking for anything in particular? Blood Frenzy might be real good. Because so we do have this reroll. We already got the duo boon. We can't pull that because we don't have the right curses. Merciful End seems um, pretty interesting. Wait, your abilities that can deflect immediately activate doom effects. Like not, they don't put a doom up, they just make it fire right away? Because like, these are, the, the prereqs here are the attack and the special boons for each of these gods. Merciful End is actually, first of all, it doesn't seem very good, and secondly, it seems like it's actually going to be a huge pain in the ass to get, so maybe this ought to be a focus uh, next, because this seems very restrictive. But I think the, the answer we've determined is no, there's not one we're particularly hunting for from him, so I'm not going to use the reroll yet. Uh, let's just take Blood Frenzy. The war is on. Blood Frenzy's going to be pretty good. All right, and then we're not saving for anything in particular. We may as well buy this now. I'll pay for that. Sure, I guess. Right? Or Razor Shoals. Um, the thing is, I don't really want to be throwing my special against Hades. We have a lot of other stuff that we want to do. 10% damage reduction is fine. It's not super exciting, but, you know, Let's what if? It. What if we just took literally every duo bit? What do we have? Four now? Man, screw those guys. Just sitting there waiting for me to approach. Okay. That worked out pretty well. And then we... Alright, I was gonna say we just stay in the cloud forever and we keep cycling uh, double-charged uh, double charged ball rushes so that there is never not a cloud. I was expecting to have to do a little bit more work than that. No satyrs here. All right, this seems like a pretty good time for it, in my opinion. I'll just tuck that away. Uh, fifty more damage on this, or wow, ten more damage per tick on that also seems very significant. I think I'm just gonna take this. Pumped up. Pretty sure that three ninety one is the largest value we've ever seen on a cast. The the largest base value. Want something to eat, boy? Huh? Uh, and then we don't have money. I, I don't want to do another branch, because there's not... We're not going to get anything of value, right? I mean, there's Demeter. I don't think we're going to get anything of value. Let's just go do it. Again, we do not need to defeat Hades to move on, Vigilant or to feel pro like we're making progress. This once. But it would be nice in this case. I think this shield is super powerful. This feels really good. I Honestly, I think that's been true of uh, all three of the special aspects. It's just I was having other problems with uh, with Rama. And then Guan Yu. Guan Yu's scary. I, I might just be not good enough at the game to really make use of Guan Yu. That's alright. We'll get some blood in there and we will definitely try it again. Here we are then, Aegis. This Beowulf will be most fortunate to have your protection. There you are, bearing my brother's blasted shield. Flaunting it about so recklessly. Though what have you done to it now? He's talking about all my sick decal work. Not much, really, besides awakening the aspect of a supposedly unstoppable dragon-slaying warrior called Beowulf. If it has the power to protect him against a giant lizard, I figure it may help me against you. You presently shall find I'm no mere giant lizard, boy. Though we shall see whether this Beowulf is any help to you. Alright, so the ideal thing to do is to charge just barely through him. It's pretty good open. Alright, play smart. Play at a distance. 
Oh, right. I'm not using I'm not using my summon enough. I gotta be summoning more than I am. Oof. Four normal strikes to kill one of those. I guess my dash strike does have a damage bonus. I should definitely be doing it with dash strike. Oops, that's bad. Yeah, that helps. Darkness. You think I should go easy on you, boy? Not really, though. Why do you ask? A useless thought at all. Save it then. Okay. You need to stop living. That's a bad thing that you're doing over there. Ooh, okay. Darkness. Well, I missed the enemy I was going for, but Hades did appear in the middle of the burst, so it wasn't wasn't totally wasted. That could not have gone better. Oh, that was a little close for comfort though, huh? I was hoping bouncing the shield off of him would cause it to go hit the other, uh, his other bloodstones. There we go. That is exactly how you want- nope, oh, not exactly, sorry. <laughs> this is like a couple inches off of how you want that to go. Ooh, good eye for this. Damn it. That's a lot of wretches. I cannot believe we didn't kill any of those bloodstones. I also can't believe what a bad job I'm doing getting my um getting my bull rushes to land close enough to Hades to matter. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play keep away for a second here. Him chasing us through the keep away is really bad for him. That's on me. That could have been better. Let's finish this. That does it. A couple of backstabs here and there, you know. Just for flavor. Oh, this isn't where I want to be right now. Okay. That could have been real bad. I mean, it's definitely beneficial to us to dash around him a little bit if we can when it's not actually... Uh, when it's not time for the bull rush. obviously the hangover is a big deal. Oh wow, I thought... I didn't think that was going to go all the way to the wall like that. Oops. I just sat there and watched him do that, huh? Please let me move. Please let me move. Oh gosh. Well. Could be going better. I think we're still going to get him, but could be going better. I shall keep coming back. The same as you. Beaten. Once. Again. I wish there was a version of this fight that had an extra phase, but where the where the extra phase was actually, like, different, you know? I wish there was a different third phase that we could turn on, because I don't think the fights... I don't think phase two a second time, but also it's spooky, is a whole lot of fun, but this is just... It's, like, a little too easy. I need a, I need a thing that's in between those two in difficulty and also is more interesting. I would even take a thing that was the same difficulty as Extreme Hades, but just a little bit more interesting. 
the master of this realm, Lord Hades, states that death is inescapable. There is considerable credence to his claim. No. Yep, that's a lot of good evidence. Alright, well, it would be very hard to argue that we were not hugely successful on that run. Finally showed you, Father. What a good weapon, man. Mm. Oh, hi. Um, you're welcome. Just go right ahead, I guess. Bye, Hypnos. Boy. I, I think that might have been repeated. To, that might be a line we've heard before. I think that's the first time that's happened. Oh, I can nudge the thing. I paid for it. I can mess with it. <laughs> why? Why is there even a button for that? I wonder if you nudge it enough times. I wonder if something happens. Honor to have met you, Great Achilles, our royal guard. Good to know whom to turn to should anything run afoul around here. So it was you who instructed my son in the martial ways. Indeed, Your Grace. He was a talented student. If only you could have seen his progress, surely you would have been very proud. I am proud. You know, you were already quite the name back on the surface when I lived upon Olympus. I should think your legend spread much farther still since then. Oh, I doubt that. Although, thank you, Your Grace. You want more pets? I got more pets here, boy. I feel like we haven't actually done this I'm in a little while. Disturbed you, Cerberus. Oh yeah, I'm sure the dog's very upset about it. Take it easy, boy. We'll probably be back here in no time. The watchdog Cerberus merely sulks upon his supple bedroll. A supple bedroll that was not cheap, by the way. Always wanted to ask you something, father. Whose skull is that there on your shoulder? If it's not too personal. I did not chronicle all Typhon's wretched offspring, boy. No one did. Some of them sit upon our shoulders now, lest we forget that things could easily have turned out rather differently, and much, much worse. So these are just the remains of the spawn of the most hideous monstrosity of all time, which you and your brother slew, got it? I guess putting the dead in their place is all part of the job. I can hardly imagine what it was like before you and the Olympians took charge. You're better off. Uh, do we want to give him some more nectar? Yeah, okay, we're almost capped out. Why not? Enough of this, boy. Even mortals know better. I don't want your nectar or ambrosia or whichever offerings. You owe me no such thing. I shall not accept it any longer. In fact, here. You shall take all of it back. Why? It's just nectar, father. Lighten up. I get that you're surly about everything, but please at least try toward decency with me. If not for me, then for mother. How dare you lecture me? I mean... Uh, look, as you told me yourself, there's no changing what already transpired. And our memories are warnings. When you have lived as long as I have, you come to understand your weaknesses. What are you getting at? You're just going to give up, stick with what's comfortable for you instead of making any real effort at making peace with your son. Uh, listen to me. My attempts at making peace are going to be rather subtle for your tastes. I cannot change the past, and there is only so much I can do about the future. I tell you this because... I shall not lie to you again. That much, I swear. All right. Well, it's a start. <laughs> that looks like something I would draw. Oh, he really did give us the nectar back. My child. Okay, well, uh, all of a sudden I have all this stuff here. How can I possibly accept such generosity, my child? Surely others whom you know are more deserving of such offerings. Nonsense, Nix. I want you to have it. You've always cared for me. I can't ever repay you for that. You know, <laughs> I do really like that thing. He said, my, my attempts at making peace are going to be rather subtle for your tastes is a brilliant way of putting that. But, like, that was a big move, right? That's a, That was a huge change. How has it been for you of late, Nix? Having Mother here again for old time's sake? Though reminiscent of an older time, it is now very different, child. For one thing, 
You are present now, unlike before. Oh, right. So are you getting on okay? Is everything all right? Everything is all right. Your birth mother, Persephone, her presence has been welcome here, I think. I think so, too. I mean, I should hope so. Right, let's go turn in some fish. We might end Jeff. up with even more nectar. Here's the catch of the day. Or night. Fair market value. Wow, this is getting expensive. Listen, I like putting the moves on Dusa and everything. And well, except that she kind of seems not to be into it, so maybe it's not so good. But also, it's very expensive, is the point I was making. I got you more ambrosia, Dusa, and I hope this is okay. I figure maybe you could use this for the lounge, special events, guests, that sort of thing. I'm sorry that I flew away last time you brought me something like this, Prince. I mean, Zagreus. It's really strange for me to call you that. I, When I started here, they told me not to even speak with you, and now, uh, here we are. Well, look, if I listened to everything I was told, my life would be a lot different and a lot worse off, I think. So, who cares what anybody says? I enjoy your company. And I enjoy yours, too. It wasn't long ago that I was just a lonely gorgon head all by myself in the big underworld, looking for steady work. And then I heard about the opening here in your father's house. Well, I got it. It seemed too good to be real. And then there was you. I remember when we first met. You were carrying three bowls for Cerberus and bumped right into me. It all went flying, but you cleaned up half of it before it hit the ground and flew away before I got your name. I thought I'd never see you again. I was so embarrassed. And worse, I thought I was done for here. But I got another chance. That was your doing, wasn't it? You've been looking out for me all this time. That's so sweet of you. I I don't know how to thank you. I, I, I better put this in Persia away for safekeeping, okay? See you, Dusa. Dialogue's getting a little rom-com up in here. Uh, hey, did we check in on the broker? Nope, gemstones. Why w Who would do this? Why would you ever? I mean, I guess at some point you run out of uses for Titan Blood, but at that point, maybe uh, maybe you're done with the game. Maybe the game is finished. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The Shield of Chaos shall someday rise from the Underworld in a form it shall assume again in the hands of a monster-hunting hero whose tale is yet to be spun. Nakeling's bored. Nothing gets past you. Well, actually, I took I took a huge amount of damage over the course of the run, but nothing gets past you in, like, too, too grim of a way. You know what? Skelly deserves some nectar, too. Now, how are you being serious here, pal? You brought that all this way for little old me? That's real nice of you. You're not so bad yourself, mate. Thanks for always being here for me to savagely attack without a second thought. Less talk and more suck in here, pal. Okay, we, we are out of real dialogue with Skelly. All right, well, that was fun. That seems like a super powerful aspect. And Let's that was with... Between us. That was with the lowest version of it. With it being plus 20% effectiveness at each rank. Like, imagine if we had had this maxed out and it was 100% bonus damage. Like, it just seems... It seems fantastic. I'm assuming that the damage in area only applies to the rush itself and not the explosion that comes off of it. But even so, that would be so, so good. Alright, so we have three weapons that have shown us their fancy legendary forms and three weapons that we have yet to figure out how to transform. I have no idea how to... Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how to, <laughs> how to make them do the thing. So let's take a quick look here at... Where we are with each of these? Okay, the rail has a completely new set of rewards available. That might mean that might mean that that's what we want to do. I believe the gauntlets have yeah the gauntlets are finished up to sticks and the sword is also finished up to sticks. We know that. So more blood, right? Always more blood. Keep your finger on the trigger at all times, pal. Although I guess actually. What's really going to guide us here is the duo boons that we're, that we're hunting, right? So, 
it was who it was an Athena and Ares duo that we were looking at that seems like it's going to be a pain. So we should probably pursue this. The rail might not be the appropriate weapon. Right, because I don't like I, I think um Doom on special is totally fine with the rail, but I don't think that Divine Strike or Divine Flourish are, are necessarily any good. So maybe Maybe we should do this with the Boy, I don't even know what. The gauntlets, I guess? Maybe. The the gauntlets might not be bad. Might not be a bad idea. Ready, Malfon? Because we could hey, take look at that. We could take Doom on special or Doom on Attack and um try to get the the thing that lets you stack multiple dooms. It would be good with it would be good on either one of them actually. And also I just really I really like the magnetic cutter. I think it's just a really fun way to play. So th this is probably this is probably what we're going to be doing. All right. That is probably where we have to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, we are finally finally going to punch our way through Hades. It's going to happen. I don't I don't think we've actually ever won with the magnetic cutter. I keep I keep trying with the gloves. I feel like we probably have the most lost runs with the gloves. Uh but Next time, it's going to happen. And we'll see you then.